Hi everyone, welcome to Easy Recipes with Twist.com. My name is Victoria and today I'm going to make this those beautiful beautiful fish balls that called gefilte fish. Yes, new Jewish New Year is coming and I think this is perfect recipe for upcoming event. And actually this was requested by I'm sorry that I'm reading because I can't pronounce your name, it's D. D. Richen or Retchen. I hope I'm telling your, saying your name right. Sorry if not. So, let's cook it. For this recipe you will need two pounds of white fish. Classically, carp used in this recipe, but I have a hard time to find it in my area, so I'm using sole. As well, you will need matzo or matzo meal, vegetable oil, parsley, garlic, carrots, egg, sugar, onion, horseradish, salt and white pepper. Let's make our gefilte fish. This is not a classical recipe, but nevertheless it's spectacular. First of all, take deep skillet and cover it with water about inch height, inch and a half height. Add to, to this one, add onion peels. And I mean it, really peels. It gives a little color, yellowish color. This is a very classical move. Add parsley. As it is, I want all the flavor go into the water and then I will take it out. And I'm taking carrots, adding to the skillet as well. Don't forget to salt your water. Bring it to a boil and let it simmer for about 5 to 7 minutes. If you use matzo meal, you can pass this step all around. I'm using matzo, so I'm making my own meal out of this. If you don't have matzo meal or matzo, you can use semolina. My grandmother did it all years. And it will be perfect as well. Taking it and beating it to a powder. Okay, I'm taking it out to the to big bowl. I love it a little bit more chunky than the salt ma uh, matzo meal. So I'm doing it by myself, but you know. Now, let's continue. Take your garlic clove, add to the, to the bowl garlic. And let's blitz it. Now I'm transferring it to the bowl as well. And now I'm bleating the fish in the bowl too. Classical, it should be sweet, 
A lot of people use way more sugar than me, but I'm not handling more than a teaspoon of sugar. Salt, quite a bit, and pepper. I'm using white pepper because the fish is white and everything white. I don't want to ruin the color of the fish. And mix, mix, and mix all together. The peels and the parsley did they work, so I have to take them out. That's out, out. You see the color of the broth that I have? Yellowish and beautiful, almost caramelized. Now wet your hands and start making balls. It's not exactly a ball, the classic shape made by two hands and it looks like this. A little patty. And add it to water. Let it simmer for 20 minutes and, and they will be absolutely perfect. That's it, they are done. You can eat them warm or cold, like me, I love them cold, with a little bit of broth and the horseradish is must. You can't have You feel the fish without horseradish. Like, it's absolutely insane. So horseradish, So, so good, so fluffy, so tender, mm. absolutely sensational. I think you should try it. Even if you're not Jewish, it's worth to try it. And don't forget to subscribe, to comment below and thumbs up me. And cheers, Victoria. And Happy New Year! To all Jewish out there, Happy New Year! Bye!